Hello everyone, it's April from Pelvic Balance. Today I'm talking about how tightness in the hips can affect the healing of diastasis recti. I just did a video on how the ribs affect things, so check that out. And I'm planning on addressing other areas as well because there are many factors that go into healing diastasis recti. It's not just the abdominal muscles. So we need to look at all these things. So today we're focusing on hip tightness. Now these muscles, we generally call them hip flexors. They attach to the front of the pelvis and the front of the spine. And when they are tight, they can also um, pull on the abdominal wall, which that's where it can affect the healing of that diastasis recti. If those muscles are being pulled out of position, it's going to affect the ability for the muscles to heal closer together, as well as um, affect your ability to strengthen that area. When muscles are tighter, uh, they're often not as strong as they could be. So if you've seen a pregnant woman or you've been pregnant, you know how posture changes. Often the pelvis tilts forward and women tend to end up with more of an arch in the low back. Now, because the hip flexor muscles attach in these areas, you could see how that would shorten the muscles and make them tighter. So one thing that you need to do when we're correcting this is check your posture. Um, once you have the baby, it doesn't mean that things automatically go back to the way they were. So a lot of women, they still walk around with that tilt of their pelvis for quite a while uh, after they've had the baby. So check your pelvis. Generally, we want that pelvis to be in a neutral position where we're not arching, arching the low back too much, you know, tilting that pelvis forward, or we're not slouching, tilting the pelvis the opposite way. You generally wanna think tall and you want your rib cage to be positioned right over that pelvis. If you have more questions on this, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, this is definitely something I look at in a lot of people is looking at posture because how we hold ourselves during the day can have a huge impact on how our muscles um, and alignment are balanced. So that's one thing, check your posture. The next is there's a stretch that you can do if there is tightness in these muscles. This will help reduce that tightness. So what you'll do is you're going to get in a kneeling position and you can be against a wall to help with balance. You're going to put one leg up and then you're tilting your pelvis almost like you're tucking your tail under and then you're shifting forward until you feel a stretch in the back leg. So it should be in the front of the back leg. Um, you'll hold that stretch a good 30 seconds and do two and then switch to the other side. Now the reason that you want to tuck your pelvis under is if you don't, what tends to happen is people tend to arch their back a little bit more. We want to avoid that and you're not going to get as much of a stretch in that leg. So try to really tilt the pelvis and then shift forward. Now there are some other ways you can do this stretch. So if you have knee problems or you're having um, difficulty with this position, please reach out to me because there are um, some other positions that you can use to stretch these muscles. So I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, you can reach out to me, april at pelvicbalance.com. Thank you and have a great day.